Hey guys and welcome to the harsh and unforgiving Obsidian world of post Finem, where last time we were working in our base uh, mainly about this little secret gun room back here. Boom. Uh, unfortunately, during the course of making this, we realised how short our iron production was. And in between, I have also realised how short our iron production was. If we come in here and go, hey, we want to make this AB9 rifle. Okay, that's the next thing in our defensive thing. Uh, if we come in here and do AB-9... This thing, well, first off, there's a lot of iron here. There's also a lot of iron here, and also a lot of iron here. Now, you may remember last time, uh, when we were making the gun modification table down down under there, uh, we actually used an awful lot of iron. I've got three bits of iron in here, and over here we've got not even enough for one ingot. So, I think even with these three bits of iron over here, we'll, oh, we'll just have enough for a single ingot. So we're going to have to not do the defensive run today. Oh look, the uh, outside weather is looking nice. It's always nice to come. Oh look, there's a villager. I've seen a couple of these guys running around now. And I'm wondering whether maybe it's some... Oh, oh, I heard that. Oh, where are we? Where am I? I don't remember coming down here and lighting up a cave like this. Uh, 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 where am I? All right, well, things have suddenly got very interesting. I don't I don't care about the bugs down here. Uh, so that that's something to point out from last time. Oh, I cannot believe we got teleported into the middle of nowhere. Uh, something to point out from last time. Uh, I managed to find the beehive that was uh, slightly eluding me. Uh, we really need to find our way out of here. Maybe it's behind the cobble? Behind the cobble sounds good. Now, normally, when I seal off a place like this, it's because everything's been explored. But do you think it is because we're on the other side from what I'm expecting us to be? I'm going to just pop this here. There we go. Maybe... Ah, here we go. This this here, this 2-1, uh, is definitely some way of me talking to myself to let me know that there are things... Oh, look, we're downstairs. We are downstairs. I know where we are. I know where we are. Wow, that that was actually a little bit worrying. I didn't I didn't know where we are. So that was a uh, confusion creeper. I've uh, experienced a few of those in the past. Thankfully, nothing really big, uh, nothing really major happens to worry about. We just get teleported to a random location, which you know, it's all right. It's nothing big. Uh, so I was talking about the villager zombies. Uh, I, I had seen a couple laying around, laying around, walking around, and I was wondering whether it was worth trying to capture one, maybe but maybe in a little back end cave over here. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, that was a little aside. We, we came out here um, just to just to see what the weather was like, just to see what the weather was like. Okay, so we can't do that. So I'm feeling we need to get onto the basic tech. Uh, this is something we definitely need to be doing, especially this sort of cobble generator, maybe the conduit to move some stuff around, get the efficiencies up on our stuff. Just just generally do this page for a, at least some of today. So we're going to start with the uh, the igneous extruder, I think. Either the igne igneous extruder or the binder composite. Let's try with the binder composite first, actually. We're here, so let's do it. Uh, it should just be relatively easy to find in here oh wow oh wow so we need some sand some gravel and some clay now i might have all of those things two two gravel it sounded like six sand was it uh there's seven and somewhere in here i should have found a little bit of clay okay so let's make some binder composite and see what happens this workbench up here i have been having great troubles with not not mainly um What's the word? Oh, wait, I've got these the wrong way around. It was more gravel. Uh, not because it's like have, uh, it's not working, not doing its job, but it doesn't quite work the way I, I remember things working. So if we, uh, I think it was this one and one of these here, and pop this here. If I now try and shift-click this, it doesn't work. And that, in and of itself, is almost entirely the problem here. But if I was like trying to collect up the gravel, double-click, where, where'd everything go? Where did everything go? Thankfully, they're just here. But, you know, it's it's all a bit confusing on this workbench. So I don't think I will be using it that often, uh, at least in this scenario. We will find a better place for it. Uh, the better place that I'm going to find for it at the moment is down here. What we're going to do is pop this here. And then we're going to put a chest here and a chest here. And it will have access to both the chests, I hope. Uh, that should be a thing anyway. Uh, and maybe we can attach it to something a bit better than just chests. I don't know. We'll, we'll find stuff 
that makes that work better. Okay, so we got this binding composite. What, what was that about? Uh, we now need to make a detection uh, task, a conduit binder, which is, you know, great. <laughs> It's always nice when things are so easy to search for, right? So we just need to smelt down the binding uh, composite. Thankfully, just here, I've been working on making some charcoal. Not not for any reasons other than making like stacks of torches and stuff. Uh, torches very much a thing in this game. Uh, so we're going to take eight of those. Thankfully, that's just one bit of charcoal. It should be just one bit of cut charcoal. Uh, I'm going to just spend a second putting a few of these things away whilst everything cooks down. That should have been enough time. Maybe I should have put some other stuff away. But we've got some of this now. So opening this up, the detection task is done doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to do with this, just says that it's a thing. Alright, cool. Fluid conduct, uh, conduit, item conduit, energy conduit, insulated redstone conduit. I'm getting all of those, that's nice. Now, I've happened to have noticed that the conductive iron is something that we're going to need to make more of these energy conduits, which we cannot actually make until we uh, have an alloy smelter or something like that. Now, I don't know how the alloy smelter is... Oh, glass. Hmm... Pulsating iron nugget. I think we're going to go with the conductive iron. I think. I mean, I may have gone and made one of my other horrendous mistakes here. Uh, so what do we do with this conduct uh, conduit binder? Uh, fluid fluid conduit? That's nice. How do we make a, a like a gas conduit? Is that is that something we can do? Uh, energy, energy. Uh, switches and energies. We've got a lot of stuff that we can do. There's a gas conduit. Does, will that take things like oxygen? Or will the fluid conduits take oxygen? This is, this is the real thing I want to figure out here. So we've got some uh, quartz frames. They're, they're nice. Okay. ME conduits. Okay. This, we've got, uh, got some ME on the go. That's good. Okay, I think we're going to start off by trying to make these fluid duct conduits. Which means we need to make some of this quite clear glass. Which um, is done in the alloy smelter. Looks like we need an alloy smelter. Is this a quest in our book? This is the question. Is any of these the alloy smelter? I don't know. I, ca I can't hover over to find out. So let's just type alloy smelter in here and see what we get. Because it does keep... Oh, okay. Everything should be all right. Sorry, a little bit of a technical issue there. Hit a button that I shouldn't have. Uh, what were we doing? We were doing the alloy smelter. Alloy smelter. Yeah, it's that one there. That is actually one of the one of the things that we need. Uh, if we have a look, it's got a lot of small bits at the top and a little one at the bottom. So if we come here, it's that one right there. So maybe we should carry on working along here. Okay, bits and bobs. Uh, there are many subparts needed to reproduce technology. Each of the ancient corporations uses some kind of proprietary parts, as, as is the way, you know, that that's life. A task where the player has to craft specific items, which is a redstone, redstone reception coil and a machine frame. There's, there's other machine frames down here. So let's start with the redstone reception coil. This should be something that's pretty easy to make. I, I hope. I really do hope. I just keep sorting out my inventory every time I type. Uh, that one. Conductive reception. There we go. We need a bit of gold. And that should be fine. What? What's... Oh, I, I am freezing. I am freezing. Ah, oh, this is a problem because I am surrounded by wood. Uh, okay, I am going to have to come back in a second after I've spent some time standing around being boring down this non-flammable part of my base with a torch just here. So I will see you, uh, well, you know, in about five minutes. It'll be seconds for you. Alright, so I'm now uh, suffering slightly from the overheats, but that's alright because that's going to keep me going until... Did you guys hear that? There's a cat somewhere. What? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hello? What's going on out here? I have not seen a cat anywhere around here. Oh, look, my dark oaks are growing. That's good. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. What is that? What is that? What is that? You're not a cat. What is going on here? I, I don't want to face you. I'm going to go up into my little defensive structure here so we can see what, what's going on. That witch is full on chase. Oh, hello. What's going on? How, how you doing? I am looking. Look, there it is. What's that? Oh, hey. Um, let's kill that. Oh, oh, what happened? And look at the size of that guy. I'm going down here. What? What was that? Oh, cray cray. Everything calm again? No, not everything's calm. Go away. Oh, I'm withered. She withered me. You what? That, uh, I've got to go. Okay. Wow. That was terrifying. It's still terrifying. What, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Can she just kill herself around here somehow? Just kill yourself. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, um. 
I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Maybe we can get her to stand on, on these things? No. I mean, she she can't open the door, right? That, that's not her thing. I don't, do, oh, how long am I going to be withered for? Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, I'm going to have a triglyceride. Get back up to, to top peak performance. I, oh, I don't... All right, anyway, enough of that. What were we doing? Uh, we were doing something over here. You'll see I've got a whole load of gold, okay? I'm going to make four of these. I know I don't... There should be a fourth somewhere. There we go. I know I don't need all four, but uh, I'm going to make them anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have just made the one. Uh, somewhere in here, we're going to have some redstone. I just want the two, okay? And go back over to our thing. She is following me, isn't she? Look at her up there. That's, that's terrible. All right, um in here. It's not terrible, it's just a bit concerning. It's a bit concerning. Right, we got that. The next thing we need is a machine frame. Basic. Uh, so, machine. I have no idea what it is we actually... Oh my. Oh my. Frame. Uh, da -da -da -da. Basic. What do we need? We need some glass. We can make glass, that's alright. We need some iron, which we might be a little bit short of. Uh, and we also need a tin gear. The tin gear should be relatively easy to make, apart from we need the iron in the middle as well. Okay, so iron is definitely going to be a thing that we need to do. There's a stack of iron here, close enough. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's um, something we can definitely make use of. If we come over here, I mean, we want to leave at least one in there so I know what I'm doing, right? Uh, Fifteen. We wanted one more, really. We wanted one more. Is there, is there any more in here at all? There's, there's not, is there? I mean, there's some uh, solid iron three oxides up there. There's a, there's a two. The uh, problem with the iron oxides is that I am... Well, I'm not fast running out of. I have run out of space for oxygen. Got 1,024 to the point where if we have a look in here, I've got oxygen all the way down this side as well. So we're going to have to try and find something to do with all the oxygens. If anybody knows of a good use for all the oxygen, I don't know, maybe we can make some breathing apparatus for underwater or something. I don't know. I, d I don't know if there is some obscure... Look, there she is. Obscure but really nice use for oxygen. If we stand here, will she come and kill herself on that? No, she won't. She really wants me. She wants me. Um, I'm sorry, but I prefer your sister. Uh, she wears purple, you wear green. Uh, anyway, where, where were we? What were we doing? <laughs> Other than insulting the, the witch, we are producing iron, of course. That, that. What, why else would we be, what else would we be doing? Uh, let's go for 16 there. Let's just shift click those out. Let's see what we get. Let's just see what we get. We got five. Is that enough to even start making this? Uh, we also need the glass that should be in here. Okay. If I remember correctly, it's four in each corner. Uh, let's just pop these down and have a look. Four in each corner. One, two. It won't let me take out multiples uh, because we don't have enough. Okay, somewhere I've got an obsidian uh, amount. There's a whole stack of obsidian there. I am going to use that bump. And this should give us more than enough uh, silicon dioxide to, to make more. Uh, that's four. Okay, the next thing we need is tin, I believe. Um, let's just have a look here. Tin gear. So we need four tin ingots, which I believe is an entire stack of these tin bits here. Did that, did that give it to me? That did. Good. Uh, so we go for four there. I am overheating. Um... I'm not that bothered about overheating, to be honest. Uh, 38. Let's just come down here and uh, bask in the cool glow of what's going on. Uh, that, that, that. And I believe then it's all like this. I'm just kind of remembering from past experiences. There we go. We've got the machine frame and we've got the conductance coil. Oh, God, I need to come away from that. Not the conductance. Is it conductance? The reception coil. That's the one. Okay, so we've got all of those. That's nice. That's nice. Do we want the machine frame reinforced, the invar block, or the clip? I, I think we're going to go with the invar block. I think. Oh, I don't want the tin. Who wants tin? I've got so much tin. I literally have tin coming out of my wazoo. Look at that. Uh, germanium tin, 82. Uh, well, I'm fairly sure we had more than uh, And I'm going to take that obsidian back. Oh. What happened there? <laughs> little, little bit of a frame jump there. That's all right. We're gonna, we're gonna pop that obsidian back there. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, we have an issue. Magnesium oxide. Um, was it magnesium or manganese? Yeah, magnesium oxide. Uh, this should be somewhere in one of these. Magnesium oxide. That one down there. What can we do about all this stuff? You know what I'm gonna do about all this stuff. I'm just gonna kind of dump it all in here for now. All right, so with that done, what's the next one on the, uh, the the quest line here? I suppose that. 
What do we need? We don't need an electrum gear. We need to make a sawmill, a resonant sawmill. Okay, now that you can generate power, you're able to use the power to run a sawmill. This machine will help you get the most out of your logs and is able to recycle some wood products, which is kind of what we want, right? Uh, so let's try and make this sawmill. We're going to have to eventually think about where everything's going. I reckon we're going to end up knocking this out. As I say, I kind of want to turn this 90 degrees uh, to the back of this wall so it kind of lines up along here. So I think maybe we're going to end up doing that and then we'll have this kind of uh, machine section here but until then I'm going to make us a chest to just kind of dump stuff into because I am running out of stuff uh, running out of room is that candle producing heat is that a thing it looks like that's a thing unless it's this furnace up here something is producing heat in this corner of the room and I am not prepared for that. So I think uh, maybe I'll go and get some algae while I just cool off a little bit. And ooh, Oh, I forgot about her. I forgot about her. Uh, let's keep moving. Okay, we've been... Wow, nuts. Nuts. What have we got here? We've got a splash potion of harming and a splash wither potion. Wow. Um... Am I, am I all good? Am I all good? All right, whilst we're out here, I just want to talk to you about the future. I mean, look at all this algae. Algae is the future of life. There is no way that we can outcompete this. Even if, even at trying my hardest and making like all sorts of technological advancements, just look at it. It's gone so far away. I'm just going to come back like this. Got to take out as much of this as possible. Well, not as much as possible, because I could just, like, clear it all out. But we're going to take out a good chunk of this. Because, you know, proteins, triglycerides, chlorophyll, not so much. I'm not sure what we're going to do with all the chlorophyll. Need to explore this place at some point. Just, just across the road. Okay, so I'm having a look inside my inventory here. More importantly, inside the NEI. And we've got the sawmill resonant. Precision sawmill, yeah, sawmill resonant. But when I click on it, you can see this machine frame in the middle keeps cycling through different types of uh, machine frame. So I'm not sure whether we actually need there the resonant frame or not, or whether just this basic one will do. I'm gonna make it with the basic one. Also, copper gears and an iron axe. Okay, we can we can do that. Copper gear and iron axe. We should have some copper in here. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough or if even it's gonna be in a correct amount. No, not really, it's not. How many copper gears do we need? How many uh, coppers do we need for a copper gear? I should imagine it's going to be uh, four. Four sounds good to me. Okay, let's have a look. I'm still carrying around this conductive iron and stuff. Let's get, let's get rid of all this. All this stuff that I don't need. I mean, the, those aren't really this, but that's where I'm going to put it for now. Uh, that is part of this. Um, okay, that looks about it for now. We've got some charcoal that we could really do with popping back in here. Oh, I've got more of these. <coughs> okay, with that little sort out underway, back on to making the sawmill. So, these copper gears, I need one iron and four copper. I've only got four, so we need eight. I'm going to, once again, grab a stack of that, uh, pop it in there. Should have got a, an eighth. No, one more. There we go, eight. Now, the next question, of course, is do we have the iron? Uh, no. No, we do not have the iron. Um, okay, well, we're going to have to work on moving all these silicon dioxides, I think, first. That is definitely a must. Okay, so with a few of the space issues sorted, you'll see we've got nothing here. We now also have a cache for oxygen. It's my oxygen cache. Uh, and we put everything else away. I think it's finally time that we can get on with making this sawmill. So, what do we need to do? Let's, let's just refresh our memories here. Copper gears. So we start with a basic gear. Okay, we can make a couple of basic gears. Why are these two showing the same? No, they all look the same. Oh, well, who knows? Who knows? So we want two there, two there, two there, and two there. And then we'll pop all these around here and hopefully get some basic gears. Okay, so these basic gears we now upgrade to copper gears through the power of the click and drag. Boom. Awesome. Now, I believe we want this and this. Uh, and an iron axe. This is going to be one of the awkward bits. So I made some more iron using the power of cobblestone from over there. Uh, so I'm going to grab three bits of iron for the iron axe. Do I have enough things to make a stone on? Uh, not a stone, a stick. There we go. Ooh, ambient noises. Always wonder what the ambient noises mean. Uh, I do believe they actually mean stuff. Uh, okay, up here, sawmill. We need some wood, which I 
have in abundance. I've been out and uh, farming all my wood, so this is all good. Uh, now, hopefully, if this works right, I should be able to just do that. No, what am I missing? Who knows what I'm missing? Uh, we'll put that there, that there, that there. I've got a feeling it's going to be like, hey, you haven't got a resonant machine frame. We asked you to build a resonant one. No? They... Mm. 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 I don't know. I'm going to try it. If it's not right, then you know we'll have to just deal with it. We've got an unclaimed reward, which probably means we have got it correct. Yeah, there. It, oh, sold separately. Well, let's get this anyway. Invar Inga Electrum Gear. I don't know what we're going to want the Electrum Gear for. Fused Quartz Signalium Inga. Signal Signalum Signalum Inga. I don't know. It was some one of those. I'm going to go with the fused quartz because we get more. I'm sure this will end up being a problem somewhere along the line but that is quite all right uh so let's have a look should we do one more before we finish i think the one thing that we're going to do before we finish is get a crescent hammer on the go wow battle wrench what is a battle wrench all right let's get the uh, the crescent hammer i believe i know how the crescent hammer is made off the top of my head i didn't want to go all the way back here uh the only real question is is it iron in the middle or is it tin in the middle because we want both iron and tin for this Stuff, stuff everywhere. Let's just dump not not that stuff. Just dump all this stuff in here. Um, I think that's all right now. Do we have any iron or tin in here? We don't. So I'm gonna go grab a stack of tin. Again, this is something I've got a lot of, so I'm really not that bothered. I'm gonna take one iron. We're gonna look up. We're, we're gonna look it up. We have to. We have to look it up. Uh, hammer. There's the crescent hammer at the end. There is a battle wrench that come. What? That doesn't have the word hammer in it. What? All right, anyway, it's uh, tin in the middle with iron around the outside. I really wish it was the other way around, but, you know, wishing does not get us what we want. There's a tin ingot. Boom. All right, with all these, we turn down here, put that in the middle, and then hopefully, as long as I don't click everything in the wrong place, crescent hammer. All right, I've taken the uh, quest book out of my inventory, so this is no good. Let's also put that in there. Uh, and have a look here. Boom. All right. Well, so we're going to get a heart. That's great. Love a heart. Um, battle wrench or screwdriver? Well, I'm kind of feeling the screwdriver because the battle wrench, I don't know, it just sounds a bit aggressive to me. Ah, oh, it's amazing. And extra heart. Brilliant. And with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this um, technology based adventure. I will see you next time where no doubt I would have already moved all this around. Possibly, I don't know. It all depends what hole we're going to find back there. Also, I believe there are silverfish back there. So, no, we won't be doing this um, beforehand. We'll actually do this live because you guys love to watch me fight for silverfish. I'm fairly sure. But anyway, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!